What is up you guys? It is Katya Books. Welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome to my channel if you are new. And yeah, if you're new, click subscribe, join the fam, and check out other videos if you want. Otherwise, yes, we are doing a what is in my gym bag video. I've seen people do these and I thought they were very interesting and I was like, oh, I have stuff that I feel like I haven't seen other people really carry um, in their gym bag. So, of course, um, if I were to like have everything that I'll bring on different days in my bag, it probably wouldn't fit. So, I'll just preface this by saying it very much differs according to the workout that I'm gonna do, like leg day versus like an upper body day. Um, but otherwise, it's stuff that I usually consistently have. And um, so, I have a, a lot of things around me right now. But we will start with the bag itself. I got this at Lululemon like years ago. I don't know how long. I love this bag. I had like some gift cards and then it was on sale and I was like, hell yeah. So, but I re recommend their bags because they have like a million different pockets and stuff and they come with like a separate bag, which will help move on to the next item that I usually have. So yeah, they come with, oops, this bag that you can put your shoes or whatever and this is my next item for leg day, of course. My lifting shoes. So these, um, I'll, I also forgot to say, if they're items that I bought on like Amazon or whatever, I'm gonna link it all below in my description box. So some of these items maybe you want. Um, yeah, I'll try to find where I got them and stuff if I got them online. I had gotten these in store at the Reebok store at a mall around near me. So yes, I've had these for years and they're getting really soft that I might need to look into new ones. I don't know yet if I'm going to invest in, because I mean, I don't do powerlifting, but I like squat shoes just for that extra support when I am doing heavy squats. So yes, it's so nice to have this bag so it doesn't touch all your clothes. Um, now, like I do go to the gym straight after work usually, so sometimes I'll even have like my gym clothes in there and extra shoes. But I don't have that in there today. The next thing it was attached to is, I mean, it's not always consistent, but this is like my mini phone tripod. I got this, I think, from the Joby website or Amazon. I think I got it on Amazon. Um, but yeah, it's just convenient for my iPhone to set it up and that's how I take a lot of the videos for my Instagram. Go check out my Instagram if you haven't already. Um, I guess as well for, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, my notebook. Very freaking important. This notebook I've had for so long. Like, if you look, like, almost every page is filled. This thing is almost filled up completely. I already bought another notebook to start filling up. I like having it manually versus some people like having it on their phone. I don't know. That's just me. What else do we have here? This is a bar pad because one of the gyms that I go to doesn't have bar pads. They have these, like, thick things. So I'm like, it's just convenient to that I was just like, I'm gonna just buy my own and have it with me just in case, you know, either they're taken and they get kind of gross, so it's kind of like nice to have my own. So that's convenient. Sometimes on, if I'm doing heavy bench days and I'm really like sticking to the numbers, I even invested in my own penny plate. So these are each half a pound, so it adds one pound when you put one on each side, obviously. You know, math. So, and it came in a set of four, so obviously you can add four pounds because if you go to five pounds, you just put five on the side. So it's kind of nice to have those for those, like, if you're really specific about numbers and if you're running, like, maybe a powerlifting program and you're doing certain percentages, it comes in handy. So that's always nice. Oh, I have my little funnel because sometimes I'll bring some extra either protein or something in here, which, talking about supplements, I have my Intraformance. This, I usually bring the whole tub and have it in my bag um, because if I have protein in here, then I don't have two funnels, so that's just handy. But yeah, this is my Interformance. It's a like a during workout carb source, so it really gives like an awesome extra pump. I'll link their website below if you want to check this stuff out. The orange flavor is amazing. So, so good. Next, I have in here are my wrist wraps. For, of course, benching and stuff. I, where's my second one? Well, there's two of them because I have, you know, two wrists, of course. 
Oh, here it is. <laughs> My wrist wraps. So, um, these I found, but I'm sure you could probably get them on Amazon as well. Amazon has everything. So, I've got my headphones not in their bag like I should be protecting them. These are the Beats Power Beats 3. Yeah, I love these. Um, they last long, and it, just in case they die on me, I do have headphones for my iPhone. Just in case, like last resort, like they die on me, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna. I need my music. Um, what else? Oh, I got my wrist straps. I've had these for years. Yes, they are leather. Yes, I'm vegan, but I got these way years ago when I wasn't vegan. And so, I mean, I've just kept them because I don't buy leather anymore. So, moving on to, I guess, another leather piece that I got before I was vegan is my lifting belts. This is an Inzer belt. I got this, gosh, I can't remember how many years ago. I love this thing to death. It has the lever versus being like the adjustable type, which I mean, that all comes to preference um, because the thing is you have to like unscrew it if you want to set it and you lose weight or gain weight. So for power lifters who like maybe fluctuate weight a lot, fluctuate their weight a lot, you know, you might just want to get the pronged type because then it's just easy to adjust. Whereas for me, I'm like, my weight is more of a steadily increase or decrease with bodybuilding. So it's, I like that. And then it just, yeah, it's a great belt, great investment for me. I have my elastic bands, different resistances, good for warming up or for just exercises. On the go, they come in handy, so if you're traveling, I totally recommend investing in like a set of these. Amazon, as I said. Let's see what else. I got my lacrosse ball. This thing is handy as heck for recovery and rolling out. Like you go against the wall or whatever. Um, for your legs, just, just it's great for myofascial release, stuff like that. It's, it's great. Now I'm just like making a mess next to my gym bag. I have tape, just in case I'm doing heavy deadlifts. It's been a long time since I've had to use tape, uh, but I have that there, just in case. Okay, that's it for the what was like in my direct bag. Otherwise, stuff that I will bring at times are my grid roller, like one of my gyms only has soft foam rollers, and this one is like one of the hardest of the, this brand, grid, yeah. Um, so I love it, it feels like rolling on a log. It's like the next level before rolling on a straight up PVC pipe, so. But I'm at that point that I'm honestly, might just go to Home Depot and buy some PVC pipe because even this sometimes just doesn't help. Um, but yeah, otherwise, for other recovery stuff that I might bring with me is this ball, it's called Skills. Grid has their own, but this one was a little tougher. Um, cause I was looking for something in between the roller and a lacrosse ball, so boom. It's great for glutes, um, yeah. I mean, if you guys want me to make a video on, um, like, what I do for recovery and stretching using all these tools and need help with that, comment that below if you want to see a video like that and that would be handy for you guys. <sighs> so excited for this, I don't know why. Um, but it's like the newest to my family of what I bring in my gym bag. But my new like hip squat belts it's so hard to describe and it's a tool that is like something that I it, I would totally say go and get it because once you learn how to use it it's gonna be the best thing you've ever invested in it is pretty expensive I will say that oh my god it's by iron mind it looks like this and what it comes with is these daisy chains and these two hooks. So in my next video regarding like my leg workout and you, you guys will see. Um, I don't know when that video is gonna come out whenever I finish it, of course. So subscribe, stay tuned. But yes, um, you'll see me using, well, my friend using this and then I would usually use his, but then I was like, okay, finally, I'm just gonna buy my own because if I'm using it every week, then it's gonna be something that I'm always gonna consistently use. Um, and I can always do a separate video on how to use this separate tool if you're like, what is this? But it's for leg day. But it's something that you can, you know, use as 
you know, a dip belt or many other things for putting, doing weighted pull-ups, just so many things. Or even my favorite thing, I was so excited because it has a hook on the back as well. And it comes with these carabiners, is you can do sled pulls. And I'm just like, yes! Oh my gosh, I've needed like a harness or something. So the fact that this can do all of that, We'll just do like maybe one day a workout with only using this. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to see. Um, and of course, a towel. Why not? I mean, my gym carries them and I can steal them sometimes. So don't judge me. But I think that's all of my crap. You guys should see this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just pour it out. Shit. Shoot. Excuse my French. That was the fan. I just keep hitting the fan right there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of everything I bring. I don't my like supplements. They're usually in a separate pack in my car. I don't like the only one I bring is my Intraformance since this is like yeah. If I'm feeling kind of hungry and sluggish during the workout, I will take a scoop of that. It gives about 18 grams of you know fast activating carbs. It tastes so good. I can't remember they have other flavors, but the orange is just like. So good. But yeah, that's all the crap that I bring with me to the gym on different days, depending on the days. Because if this was all in my bag at once, definitely wouldn't fit. But I love this bag. My Lululemon has lasted me so well. Oh, also some extra pens, just in case, because you never know what might happen. Um, I think that's it for what's in my bag. Yeah. What do you guys carry in your gym? Maybe it's quite as complex as mine or something less complex. I don't know. But if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Because thumbs ups are great. And subscribe if you haven't already. Because why not? I don't know. I'm like kind of tired and kind of like scrambled because, because now everything is all over the floor. So I'm going to have to clean this up. So that'll be fun. So you guys go enjoy the rest of your day while I clean this up. I love you all and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.